Hello, and welcome once again to uh, another tutorial uh, for I for uh, iPhone Nerd .com. Um, This is actually not a tutorial; it's more like a, a reference. Uh, a lot of you might have not fully understood some of the past videos on how to install on the steps that you have to do after you've jailbroken your phone. Uh, what are the steps that you would have had to take to go ahead and unlock your phone and how exactly you do that well it's very very easy so I made this brief video so you guys can uh, understand it more clearly uh, on the screen you see now is a echoing of my iPhone uh, well at least my test iPhone I don't really use this iPhone you might notice that it is on 2.2.1 uh, and the reason for that is because uh, most of the software that I use to demo things doesn't work on 2.0 on uh, 3.0 so that's why it's on that um, <coughs> anyways let's get down to business uh, what you want to do first is you want to open up Cydia <coughs> uh, let's let that load um, and once once this data is loaded we're gonna go ahead and uh, and add uh, a repo to Cydia, which is where we're gonna be getting Ultra Snow from. So let's just give it a few seconds here. Let it load up the data. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry, this is taking so long. Okay. Uh, so now, when you're in this screen, which is the home screen on Cydia, you want to go ahead and click the fourth button towards the bottom. At the bottom, it's right next to search and right next to change. This is called manage. Uh, you hit manage and you want to hit sources you want to hit edit you want to hit add as you can see on the screen here my iPhone has no service currently because it's not unlocked this unlock works for iPhones on 2.2.1 uh, 3.0 um, basically any iPhone even if you've downgraded at the moment after you do this you definitely must not upgrade your firmware on any updates that uh, Apple does until the dev team has come out with a proper uh, software or update that will not let your baseband be updated so once we're at this screen uh, let me just go back here we want to hit <clears throat> edit then we want to hit add and then it's gonna bring you bring you to a HTTP screen and what you want to do is you want to put in repo it's written in the description 666.ultra.sn0w.com and hit add source then it'll verify it'll update <coughs> it'll update your sources um, then it should tell you return to Cydia A lot of people uh, like to do a search for Ultra Snow once they've added this. I actually find it easier just to do it another way, which I'll show you in a second. Wow, this is taking forever. Should come up shortly. Okay, we're gonna hit return to Cydia. As you notice, it's still on the edit screen. So you wanna go ahead and hit done at the top right. Now you see that you have a, a new repo that's been entered by the user. It says repo666.ultrasnow.com. And instead of doing a search, you wanna just click on that. Just tap on that. <clears throat> I 
I've already tapped on it. It's just being slow, so please bear with me. Okay, there we go. Um, so you see the package Ultra Snow right there. You don't even have to do a search for it. It should be faster on your phone, just for demo purposes. Mine is slower. So um, you want to go ahead and click Ultra Snow, click Install, click Confirm, and let it do its thing. It should be very quick because it's not a big file. Now, after this is done reloading the data again, um, we want to hit return to Cydia and then go to the home page and then hit the home button actually. Very, very simple. And we're still waiting. Wow. That's uh that's amazing. Finally, okay, return to Cydia. We go ahead and we click the home button. Ultra Snow is not installed. So after you've done that, all you have to do now is basically just restart your phone. Power it off, power it back on, and you should get the symbols. Now for demo purposes, I'm not going to power my phone off because it's going to come off the screen. I'm going to go ahead and take the SIM card out. It's going to tell me that the SIM card has been taken out. And I'm going to go ahead and just pop it right back in. Just to show, basically. So now, the iPhone should uh, fuzz about a little bit, and then the Edge icon should come on, and T-Mobile should uh, come on, and we should be good. I guess it does not want to do that. Not today. So, I'm going to have to reboot my phone. Uh... It worked before, but it doesn't want to work now. Uh, but basically, after you've done that, all you have to do is just reboot your phone, and everything should be fine. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment, or you can send an AIM message to Nerd Support. Uh, we're on almost 24 hours a day, and for anything that you need for your iPhone, please visit iPhoneNerd.com. Thank you very much.